first question. What do you like about the Cooperative Academy of Manchester? Everything. I like the pupils, I like the diversity within the school, I like our morals, I like our values, fairness, ambition, respect, and I feel like the pupils and staff really live up to that. <laughs> what are three words to describe working at CAM? Exciting, we've got a new build on its way. Exciting? Ambitious in terms of the, in the sense that we're moving forward in terms of the new build. Fast pace, that's one word. It is very fast. It is, it is, the pace is very, it's quick, it's not even quick, it's rapid. There's always something going on, whether it's inside the classroom, outside the classroom. Innovative. Vision, I'd say. Proud to work at Cal. Positive. And challenging. 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 I think it's hard work. I think it's challenging work, but I think it's rewarding work as well. And supportive. Definitely. <laughs> what are the students like to work with? Everyone's different. No one's the same. <laughs> There's such a variety of people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different religions, and just the way they are with each other, it, it's really a reflection of sometimes how I wish outside society could be. The students here are very um, vibrant, enthusiastic, um, and they know what they want, they know how they like to be taught. The students are lovely, they are really keen to learn and they are very energetic, so once they have an opinion about something, they really are willing to share it, which is, which is lovely to have in your classroom. It's their effort, it's their engagement, they're always enthusiastic, they've always just got something about them. and They're an actual joy to work with. They're the best thing about camp. They also like to talk and communicate with each other, and I'll be honest, they're it can be difficult, like every t other teenager can be. I think because we ensure that learning is so creative and we have all these new ideas and we take risks, I think pupils really respond well to that. They are so engaging and charismatic um, that I wouldn't want to work with students at another school because I don't feel that I would get as much from them as I would from CAM students. Tell me about your department. <laughs> We are a very high performing department with some of the best results um, in examination at GCSE across the whole of the northwest of England. We are so different from each other, uh, not just in terms of our, probably our classroom practice, but outside the classroom. So we're, we're like a small little family. Uh, and if I have an issue, they, they are more than happy to support me with it. It's a lovely place to be around and it's really supportive. And we've all got the same mindset. We want the best opportunities for our pupils. How, oh, good question. How have you been developed at CAM? Where do I start? There's an abundance of opportunities to be developed, whether it's on a personal or professional um, basis, um, especially with regards to leadership skills. I've been very lucky to be here. So, from day one, always had NQT support, had a professional mentor, had a subject mentor. I get um, a coach, which I meet once a week, where we can go through anything we want in terms of my teaching. A uh, lot of training. The main thing I would say in regards to development is the support from senior members of staff to middle leaders to NQTs. You can really go to anyone and uh, they will help you with whatever you want. Not only have I developed my classroom practice, my practical practice, I've actually developed as a leader because I was promoted in the first year of teaching to Key Stage 3 lead. I have also massively developed my classroom management, my way I teach. We're all constantly learning new things and we're all constantly developing our practice. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm running up the ladder, I'm not walking up the ladder, I'm running up it. And with that, there is a, an array of support to ensure that I get to where I want to be. What advice would you give to someone joining the academy? My advice would be, have an open mind. Always try your best. Be yourself with the students and give them something. Give them a small part of you that links in with them. Just enjoy it. Just really enjoy it. Get involved, get involved in everything. You know, make sure you're dropping in on other teachers, you're developing your practice as much as possible. Get the support that's out there. I think the biggest piece of advice I would give was to realise it, it is hard work um, and it takes a lot of commitment. It takes a lot of time. Um, and you have to be prepared to work as a team. 
What are you most proud of since joining the academy? I think I'm most proud of my students getting the grades and doing really well in their assessments. Especially it's so lovely to see when you um, have really put the effort in with a group and they really respond to that and they come out with some amazing grades. My proudest achievement would be the relationships I have with the students. I'm proud of our students and it's the most humbling thing you can do is to bump into an ex-student and they tell you how well that they've done in later life um, and that's when I get my moment of pride and all that hard work has paid off.